Welcome into Houston from Packaging News. I'm here at PackPrint. I'm talking to Professor Paul Dastor of, of the University of Newcastle, all about printed electronics. Tell us what you've got on display here, Paul. Good morning, Lindy. What we've demonstrated here is the first public installation of printed solar cells developed at the Centre for Organic Electronics at Newcastle, where we have uh, built solar cells that we can print at high speed and at extremely low cost. And what technology is being used to print that? Well, it's actually standard printing technology. In fact, the machine that we use is typically used for printing wine labels. Wow, so that's flexography? Yes, yes. Part of the process is a flexo type uh, printing station. We also have multiple layers in the device, and so some of the other layers are printed via slot die, um, and indeed we even use a vacuum deposition technique to put the final top contact on. Would you like to show me the, how the layers work? Yeah, sure. I've got a, um, a, a, a pamphlet here that shows how we build each layer up sequentially. So we build up part of the bottom electrode first. These are a set of silver wires, effectively, that we've printed in a grid formation. Mm -hmm. Then we place a um, conducting polymer layer in between the gaps to give us a full electrode. And then we print what we call the active layer. This is now an electronic ink. If we think about this a bit more deeply, Lindy, what we're saying now is that whereas historically printing has always been associated with just a colour or just being able to see an image, now we're talking about being able to print electronic function. In other words, printing could become an electronics industry. Wow. And so this layer now absorbs the light, uh, generates charges, the things that, that are needed for electricity, and then we put the top um, electrode on, that sputter coating, that vacuum deposition technique I mentioned, to produce our final module. And so does that get printed and could effectively become an installation like this, solving a an energy problem yeah. in a hurry? Indeed. In fact, our view is that this technology is absolutely unique in terms of being able to produce really low-cost energy. Let me give you one example. As we look around the city of Melbourne, how many solar cells do we see? Hardly any. But imagine this cityscape where every building is covered in these cells generating power. It would make an enormous difference to how we understand energy, to how we understand sustainability. And what will be the next step in terms of commercialising this or really getting it off the ground? So um, our next step is that we have the first commercial install planned for the end of this year. Uh, where we will be placing um, these uh, printed solar cells onto a roof uh, at Newcastle. And then we have a program of sequenced rollouts planned for 2018. And our view is that we should see full commercialization within two to three years. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Thanks for sharing that with us. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for your interest.